All right. Here's one that I, I got I get pretty infrequently, but we have one case of a, a baby who actually had the more severe form of this and actually ended up dying as a consequence. I really want you to, to be aware of this. This is a one-week-old who presents with erythema around the umbilical stump. Baby looks fine. You walk in the room, the baby looks fantastic, and it's breastfeeding. And this is where people get sidetracked, because the baby looks great, and you want to send him home, and you run into a trauma, but stop for a second. Anytime you have erythema around the umbilical stump on the abdominal wall, stop. You do a full septic workup, and these kids get admitted, because you're thinking about omphalitis. So here you have erythema around the umbilical, the belly button right here. So anything on the abdominal wall is bad. And sometimes people say, well, it's a diaper, it's a little irritated. Well, then you take the diaper off and it should go away, right? It should not stay there over time. Well, and the nice thing about this too is, like you said, if you just leave them there for an hour, like if you're not sure, mm -hmm. you really don't know if it's the diaper or what have you, you leave them there for an hour, I mean, this progresses pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So right. if you observe them for any period of time at all, you know. That's right. the good news and the bad news about this. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not sure and you yeah, don't feel comfortable yeah. calling yeah. the local yeah. children's hospital and saying, hey, yeah. I'm going to transfer this kid for omphalitis, you can wait a little bit and get a pretty good yeah. sense. Yeah, in the meantime, you could be sending your labs, right, and kind of keep yeah. an eye on things uh, anyway. The, the reason this is so bad is that there's a remnant of the enteric duct, and if that is patent, mm -hmm. it goes from the belly button all the way to the liver and biliary system. And so the case I just referred to was a patient who had omphalitis and then had progression, and that's why she ended up uh, p passing away, because it went to the, mm -hmm. the biliary system. So you don't know which of these, I've, as yeah. many cases of omphalitis I've seen, that's the one case that ended up progressing badly, but you don't want to be the one to miss that one case, yeah. right? So for now, we're for bad, bad, absolutely badness, very yeah. severe potential not just minor. So these kids get IV antibiotics. Sometimes you have to have surgical debridement because it's, it's like so a extensive. Like of the belly. Necrophotizing fascia, yeah, it's really, it is like that depending how it looks, especially in those more severe cases. And you're still gonna do your septic workup and get these kids admitted and uh, transferred if necessary.